What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Crash Play Gaming. I am your host Crash and we are taking a look at another deck that I have never put on this channel until today and I think you know it had its prime back in the day and people forgot about it. People aren't even playing it. You don't see it as much but I'm bringing it back. This deck don't sleep on it. Jolteon is still good. I promise you Jolteon is still good. You can win quick matchups fairly easily. Yeah the deck is awesome. Um, there is another version of this Jolteon deck that I am planning on building. It's the, with the Inteleon engine. The reason I don't have the engine, well, I'll explain that in the deck list. But anyways, also, don't forget about the code word in the video. It is somewhere in the video. If you are the first person to put that in the comments down below, you'll win a, maybe like, I think I've been giving two packs if you get the code word. So two packs on PTCGO. Anyways, it's question time. We're back with the Pokemon question of the day. I know I've missed a couple, but hey, we're actually starting fresh. Uh, Band Socks was the last winner of the last rounds of Pokemon question of the day. So everybody's back to zero points. And let me just quickly explain how we do this. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. You're going to put your answer in the comment section down below. Be the first one to get the correct answer, which gives you a point. And then you need to accumulate three points over the course of all the questions that I ask. Once you do, you win the prize and all the points reset again. It's as simple as that. As long as you can get the Pokemon uh, that is related to the question first, you get a point. And then you just got to do it three times before anybody else. So yeah. And also, we do have a code word in the video. So you be on the lookout for the code word that also gets people another prize. It could be anywhere in the video. So just pay attention for that. Now, let's get into this video's question. Usually, I would go over last video's question, but we already did that and I skipped one. So anyways, here it is. This pink baby Pokemon Pokemon's name rhymes with cuff. Who is this Pokemon? Go ahead and leave your answer in the comment section down below and watch next video to see if you're right and get your point totals. And that's that. Jolteon VMAX is another card we have not covered on the channel and I think right now is a really good time to be playing Jolteon VMAX. People are not respecting the Jolteon. And if they do respect Jolteon by playing Manaphy, we have a way around Manaphy that makes it a little bit good. I am going to compare this with an Inteleon build of this Jolteon VMAX deck, but I like this one too. Um, anyways, Jolteon VMAX, 300 HP, lightning type Pokemon with the attack Max Thunder Rumble, it does 100 damage for 200 energies, and it does 100 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that have any damage counters on it. So, how do we get this guy rolling? Well, we have a 2-2 line of the barrel to help us draw some cards. We have a 2-2 line of Jolteon with Thunderous Awakening. If this Jolteon has a memory capsule, all water Pokemon in play have no abilities. Sucks to be Manaphy at that time. We destroy Manaphy doesn't even matter when we have this Jolteon out and you know these let's say six cards because memory capsule for EV as well these six cards do become dead cards if our opponent isn't playing any water Pokemon that have meaningful abilities so just do keep that in mind but it does shut off Manaphy without you having to waste a turn bossing it only taking one prize yeah two copies of Zigzagoon easiest way for us to put damage counters on our opponent's bench Pokemon so that we can maximize Jolteon's damage output. We have one escape rope because sometimes we want to switch our opponent's Pokemon. And then we have two evil incense, one fan of waves. This is really in here for like uh, the Urshfu matchups, the Mew matchups. Um, who else uses special energy that matters? I think that's it. Maybe single strike matchups. Honestly, you can remove fan of waves. I haven't come across a game where this mattered. So there's that. I just have it in there just in case. Um, four quick ball, four scoop up nets so that we can scoop up the zigzagoons and use them as often as possible. Also an easy way to switch out any of these Pokemon if they get stuck in the active. Four Ultra Balls. That helps the Barrel Engine. Four Path to the Peak so we can shut down all other abilities. Two Bosses Orders and then we have two copies of Cheryl in here to help us heal our Jolteons. In this video you're not going to see me do it because people just uh, didn't last that long for me to be able to use Cheryl. Uh, four Marnie, three Research and then a really important item card, Elemental Badge. We have three of them. If the Pokemon V this card is attached to is a Jolteon in our case, its attacks cost one colorless less. So if you notice, Jolteon's attack has just cost us one energy as long as we have that tool, but two energy still isn't even that bad in this format either. We have four speed energies, which is great why I like playing Lightning. You can draw two cards when you attach and three basic Lightning energy. The reason why I'm playing three basic Lightning energy is because of Duraludon can't hit through uh, those guys and then you're also thinking well crash what happens if you go up against mill tank well i'll tell you what happens if you go against mill tank you switch out that fan of waves for canceling clone and i just thought about that right now because i haven't gone up against any mill tanks um 
yeah that's the deck it'll be in the description down below and while you're there go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you enjoy the content and like the video and don't forget about the code words it's somewhere i promise anyways let's watch this deck in action Ooh, lunatone solrock wonder how well we're gonna do in this matchup i don't think we need eevee too much all they really have is greninja so we're gonna leave eevee in the active spot we're gonna need zigzagoon a lot so it's good to have zigzagoon um, path is also good because they have the what's it called what do i quick ball here memory capsule then yeah we quick ball away memory capsule and then we go get a jolteon we're missing energy missing the barrels but i think it's more important to set up the jolteon first so we'll do jolteon and then we'll throw down path to the peak and then we will play the evil incense to grab mm, let's keep it in dark let's do that let's see not not a good start for us we, we need an energy uh, they already bounced our path so their, their greninja can work we do expect our Eevee to get knocked out. We do have Jolteon VMAX. We can take two prizes this coming turn, which is going to be really good. There's already the two energies they needed. Hmm. We're in top deck mode. Maybe I should have gotten a... a doofer. A doofy. But if I did, I wouldn't have been able to attack with Jolteon. That's the issue. Could have done thunder spear i guess but what's that really realistically gonna do not a whole lot so our goal here is to ping the next lunatone and we can also ping a soul rock i think pokestop is actually gonna help us get there maybe because it only gets item cards and well most item cards aren't actually gonna help us i don't think i play energy search i can check with evolution incense if i do then there's a chance if i don't then oh well so our opponent played a supporter. Uh oh. Could I, oh yeah, they did play research. I was about to say, they could just boss our Jolteon and wreck my face. Alright, they get Moon Kinesis, they get a KO. We can take out both Lunatones. Ooh. Now we need, okay. Let's evolve. Let's burn the Evo Incense, just get out the barrel, just cause. Okay, speed energy. Marnie's good. Let's go ahead and play down the Zigzagoon. Hit the Lunatone. Scoop up Zigzagoon. Uh, hit a Soul Rock, I guess. And then we can Marnie. We need the Elemental Badge. Boom! We hit the Elemental Badge. Uh, hopefully this messes up our opponent a lot. Got the Elemental Badge here. We can play down the path. Don't need much else. Let's just go max Thunder Rumble, take out their second Lunatone, and maybe put our opponent on the heels here. Don't sleep on Jolteon VMAX. This card is still good. Wonder if they're playing, I don't think, Soul Rock Lunatone does not play a Manaphy. I don't think they need to. Because they're supposed to be so fast. Though we do, we do need to get ourselves into some more scoop up nets. We do have another Zigzagoon, which is good. They bounce another path. Battle VIP pass, Heavy Ball. Only Heavy Ball might help them out if they have a Lunatone in the discard. Which they don't. If we had a Cheryl, that would be even better. So we need to set up a second Jolteon for us to stand a, a little bit of a chance here. They can still attack with Lunatone, though. But we're still going to be taking two prizes. We definitely need to set up another Jolteon. So what do we do here? Do we Marnie first and then Speed Energy or Speed Energy then Marnie? Speed Energy then Marnie guarantees us the most cards we see. Okay, we're going to be getting half hit here. Which is good for them. We're going to try to take out another Soul Rock. Get a boss. Take out their Greninja and Lunatone. Go ahead and use, let's use Pokestop here. Quick Ball's perfect. Scoop Up Nets even better. So I can keep that Zigzagoon in the deck. Let's Quick Ball away that Fan of Waves. Go get a Jolteon. We can Speed Energy onto this Jolteon. Ooh. Scoop Up Net the Zigzagoon. Play down the Zigzagoon. 
hit one of those and then we're gonna Marnie. Oh, I don't like Marnie in here. So if I Marnie, I, I still need the elemental badge though. So let's dig, let's Marnie. Still need the second elemental badge for the Jolteon plus another energy. I know I had the guaranteed stuff there, okay. Okay, not too bad. Quick fall away the escape rope, get a Bidoof down. And then we can max Thunder Rumble, take two more prizes. And Lunatone Solrock is having a hard time keeping up. See what we get here. Energy is not something I want to see. Patch the Peak is good. You can bounce through Stadium. I wonder if I should. No, Patch of the Peak is the best. I was thinking, like, maybe I should put Pokestop in here. It kind of helped us. But that's okay. Man. Woo! It's been a minute since anybody's been playing Jolteon VMAX, and I thought I would bring it back because people are sleeping on it. They really are. You can beat up on Palkia. You can beat up on Lunatold Soul Rock. I think the hardest matchup is probably going to be the Regis because you don't one-shot the Regis. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be the hardest one. <laughs> Let me think about it. Because the Regis, they all have like 120 HP. And they can hit you for weakness. So you need to tech in something in this deck to handle the Regis. I think so. Yeah. Speaking of Regis, let's go with the code word. The code word is Reggie, R-E-G-I. Put that down in the comment section down below. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you're enjoying the content, and just continue watching Jolteon make some moves on our opponent. Should be able to win next turn. If not, we're going to struggle a little bit. That's okay. We have playable cards in our hand. We've got a Fog Crystal. They're down to six cards. That's amazing. They're trying to find some more Soul Rocks. There it is. Well, they can get. They could knock out our Jolteon this turn. I don't know if they attach that energy to their hand. I mean, I'm sure they have Scoop Up Nets, right? There's one Scoop Up Net. Yeah, they've got a Scoop Up Net in hand. There it is. All right, all we need to find is the Jolteon VMAX and another Zigzagoon or Scoop Up Net, and we win. If we don't, then we're still going to win. They have to KO two Jolteon VMAXs, and I don't think they've got it in them. Well, actually, as long as we find the Jolteon VMAX, we're fine. All right, because we can take a KO. They're not going to one-shot us, I don't think. They could, though. they got a bunch of energies in play. So we have to be careful. Alright, promote the active here in Jolteon. Get a boss. That doesn't really help us too much. Let's play down Jolteon V. Let's put barrel. Mm, do I poke a stop? I don't think I want to poke a stop because the chances of hitting How many V Maxes did I have in the deck? Let's do it. Ah, we hit an Ultra Ball! <laughs> exactly what we needed. Okay. Ultra Ball. Get rid of those two. Okay, we had two in the deck. All right. There's the Jolteon VMAX. This Pokestop is coming in clutch for us. Let's go Jolteon VMAX. Let's go Path to the Peak. We're going to be Barrel first since that'll get us more cards. Okay. We still need to hit a Zigzagoon. Speed Energy. Evolution Incense just to thin. Need to hit that Zigzagoon. Get the KO. Scoop up net or quick ball. There's the quick ball. There's a scoop up net. Let's just use the quick ball here. Get rid of that memory capsule. Go get our second Zigzagoon. And say GG's to our opponent. That's all we need to do there. Freaking Jolteon. Still a beast, man. Jolteon is still a beast. Okay here. Looks like we're going up against some kind of grass Moltresy deck. Bell Sprout, Weeping Bell. What do they do? I don't know. Well, thankfully we top decked the Jolteon. We'll take that. We'll do the Elemental Badge. We'll play Path. And I think we're going to throw down the second Bidoof. Because I can scoop up the one in the active and use two Bibarel abilities, possibly. We'll say done. We need an energy. Definitely need an energy for next turn. We need the VMAX for next turn and a Zigzagoon to start pummeling our opponent's bench. They do have low HP Pokemon, thankfully. So that is 
Good for us. We can easily take two prizes next turn. If we get into the cards that I need. I also have a fan of ways that'd be nice to play. But we'll see what Mr. Felipe Stereo has to do. Ah, uh, Venoshock. Could this be some kind of poison? No way are you... What does Victory Bell do? I like it. It's a rogue deck. I don't know. Dangerous Mucus. That leaves me active and burned. That's 30 damage plus... Oh, they take a KO. Oh. Well, then. good thing I benched that other Bidoof. Am I right? Good thing I benched another Bidoof. Okay, energy's good. Oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to evolve the Jolty on there. Silly me. Let's play that. We have enough to attack. Industrious Incisors needs to get us Jolty on VMAX plus Zigzagoon. We got Zigzagoon. No Jolty on VMAX, though. Hmm... Doesn't look like I'll be needing Eevee this matchup. Moltres is going to come in at some point, right? So... Interesting. Do we just Thunder Sphere? Hmm. Thunder Sphere is something, right? after the Moltres. I can always just ping the Weeping Bell of Zigzagoon. Now, they can evolve Weeping the Bell Sprout into Weeping Bell and get me poisoned again and burned. That is possible for them to do. I don't know though what they're planning. Thankfully I have Path in play. There's a Evolution Incense. Do we see a Victory Bell and find out what Victory Bell does? We might. I'm really curious as to what Victory Bell does because I have not... I don't know. I don't even know how many Victory Bells are in this format right now. They just get another Weeping Bell. Okay. They can definitely just poison us and burn us, which is fine. If we find our evolution, we'll be okay. We don't even need to ping the Moltres anymore. So we can play down the Zig Choice Belt. Is Bellsprout your attacker? That's crazy. Okay, we got a professor's research, so let's go ahead and play down the Zigzagoon. Ping that. Um, hate to waste the speed energy here, but I'm going to. Marnie seems better, but they're kind of breaking, so let's just go ahead and research. Need the VMAX. There it is. And we got another Jolteon, which is good. There's the VMAX. Now we're going to take two prizes. We'll see if our opponent concedes after this. They might. Go for the Weeping Bell so they can't poison me. I see their strategy. We take two prizes. Moltres is next. Escape Rope is good. Ultra Ball is good too. Escape Rope is actually really good for us. Because we can Ultra Ball into another fresh Jolteon. And our opponent does concede. Jolteon's a power out. Okay, we get to go first here. Luckily our opponent mulliganed out the wazoo for us. Um... Let's go ahead and quick ball away this memory capsule. I saw a bunch of their deck. I don't think we're going to be needing the Eevee. So we can throw down a Bidoofer here. Um, we can even use Path to the Peak right now. Which I think will be good. And then we will pass. I could scoop up the Zigzagoon next turn. Ping whatever they put on the bench. Evolve into Jolteon VMAX and evolve into Bidoof. Our opponent right away goes for Peonia. I wonder what they're playing. There is a Peak playing Pikachu VMAX. I saw Fire Energy. I saw Canceling Cologne, which is obviously for the mill tanks. I think I saw Darkness Energy. So this might be a version of RCS Pikachu with Charizard in it. Which will be very interesting to see. Charizard gets really close to one-shotting our Jolteon VMAX. Can hit for 280 if they have something like a Leon. They can one-shot our Jolteon VMAX, so we have to be careful. 
Hopefully, though, they play something on the bench that we can ping with Zigzagoon so we can take some easy prizes here. We'll find out shortly, though. I am thinking about playing um, the Inteleon version of this deck as well. I want to kind of try that out too and compare the two because this one's more gauged for going against Manaphy and Inteleon lines. Ooh, they have a fighting energy as well. Uh-oh, there's Arceus. Like, it's, it's a gauge for shutting off Manaphy if they play it and for shutting off um, Inteleon lines. So, like, you can't play the Jolteon with the Inteleon, the baby Jolteon with Inteleons because then you just shut it down. Okay. Evolution Incense. Both the barrels are prized. Okay, that makes it easy. We go for the Jolteon. <laughs> wow, okay. Didn't see that one coming. Let's go ahead and scoop up the Zig. Come up with Jolteon. Ping the Arceus. And then we can Marnie. Good. We got an energy. It's all we needed. And we have a Cheryl for next turn, which is also fantastic. Speed energy. Boom. Boom. Sounds good. Max Thunder Rumble. KO the Flying Pikachu VMAX. Didn't even realize you are weak to lightning. Our opponent probably didn't realize that either. A lot of people forget. Flying Pikachu VMAX is weak to lightning. I forgot because great. That's a free two prizes. Our opponent might concede after this. We'll see. They still have to get their fighting Pokemon. They did attach a fighting energy to their Arceus. So they should be playing some kind of counter to me. There's a Crobat, that's a juicy target. We can take out the Crobat, we can take out the Arceus, and that'll be game for us. Oh, we get Marnied, we lose our Cheryl and our Babarel, and the extra energy we have. That's a little bit of a pain. Hopefully we get into the Cheryl energy again, or an Evo Incense. No, we just get into a boss. What is this, Lycanroc? Viking Rock can't hurt us. Are they going to Trinity Charge? They are. This is going to be tricky for us, folks. Hmm, they put an energy on the Crobat, which is very smart of them. Okay, we top deck an energy. That's good. Let's go ahead and evolve there. Attach the energy to the bench. Okay, Ultra Ball's really good here. We can get rid of Bidoof and Eevee. Go grab the barrel. Thankfully we want prize Prize barrel. Now, what I'm thinking is I can boss up the Lycanroc. But they, when they evolve into the VMAX, it's like 300 HP and I have to... No, no, no. I think I boss up the Crobat. Find a Zigzagoon, hopefully. And we can take out the Arceus. Because either way, we're not KOing the Arceus without Zigzagoon. So let's go for the Crobat. Let's draw four cards. See if we can get Scoop Up Nether Zig. We don't. We get a fan of Waves, which isn't useful. Bummer. So we're going to just have to max Thunder Rumble here. Fortunately, we missed the Zigzagoon. But we have another Jolteon VMAX ready to go. This is going to be a tough matchup. Lycanroc does one-shot us. We are weak to fighting. But, if we can somehow KO these guys on the bench, we are solid. We have an energy for the bench, Jolteon. Viking Rock B can take a KO here with Crushing Fanes. Hits for 200, Weakness hits for 400, and we'll have to figure something out. We'll need another boss. We get Marnied, I'm okay with the Marnie. We don't have boss in hand, we do have an energy though. But we had some really kind of unplayable cards except for research. We do get an elemental badge, which is like an energy. Don't get a boss though. Because now they can go for Arceus V Star. Don't have path. We're gonna lose our active. Crap. Oh, they switch into Arceus. Do they not have another fighting energy? Okay. Do they have like a Manaphy or something? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, they're star birthing here. Yeah, they could switch into Arceus and then find Lycanroc VMAX plus energy. I was surprised. I was like, oh wait, they still have star birth. 
Don't forget they still have Starbreath. They can also go into Crobat VMAX, which will deny me a prize if they have it. Okay, you still need... They still need another energy. Okay, they just attacked. Well played. Jolteon VMAX squeaked by on this one. Not gonna lie, I guess they didn't have another fighting energy because they attached to the Arceus. Yep, that's it. We'll take it. Another quick dub with Jolteon. That's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it this time. Four prizes. Boom. Well, you saw me beat up on the best single prize deck in the format, Lunatone, Solrock. We just absolutely destroyed them. And then we just quickly won a couple of other games because Jolteon just takes out Pokemon relatively quickly. You're attacking pretty fast. And, you know, if you're able to hit their bench and they don't get Manaphy down before you get your Eevee, the game is almost set in your favor, to be honest. As long as you're not going up against Fighting-type Pokemon like Stonejourner, you're solid. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the content. And we'll see you next time on Crash Blade Gaming.